what's really going on? Is the Deutsche Bank note about commentary spooks investors, the Barclays note back in the penalty box? Are those adequate descriptions of what you said yesterday? Not at all. Look, we, I'll say it, I've said it before and I'll say it over and over again. We stand with the strongest pipeline that we've ever had in this company across its breadth. And we do certain things with technology. We innovate, we create new markets, and we disrupt our own markets. And we've got that across a breadth of technologies that we've never had before and no one else has. And we think these are game changers for healthcare. And we'll be in the middle of that. Okay. Okay, Omar, but you know what? The research is saying otherwise. It's saying that there was a guy down in cardiovascular. Some people are saying that Abbott is taking share. Others are saying that this is the same old Medtronic. Kristen Stewart, here's a good quote. If it isn't one thing, it seems to be another when it comes to Medtronic's spotty record. What do you say to that? Well, look, uh, we had to give a heads up on some tax issues that may be possibilities. It's not something that we've given up on. It's something they're going to work on, and we'll we'll get this thing right. But the most important thing here is our technology. And, uh, you know, that one cardiovascular issue is one thing. But cardiovascular is much broader than that. We've just uh, introduced a product called the Micra. The Micra is a leadless pacemaker, which no one else has. The pacemaker is what the company was started on right. 60 years ago, and we reinvented that market and are disrupting that market. We're now going to modify that, to upgrade that product so that it addresses almost 60% of the addressable population as opposed to 16. That's a major step. This changes people's lives. That's what we're all about in cardiovascular. We're going to do in, we recently acquired a company called Mazor with a robotics platform for surgical robots, uh, for, for, uh, for spinal implants. That's a great company. But what we've done already is integrated our stealth navigation system together with that product, and now it's a new product, which we just recently launched and is being uh, received enthusiastically everywhere. Together with that, we've got spinal implants, and the both together give us a unique position in technology. Well, let's talk about Maysor, because I think it's really important. A lot of our viewers liked it on Mad Money. What they thought was, was important was this could be the next intuitive surgical, a $56 billion company. Can it be that big? Are there other uses? And how big is it right now worldwide versus what Medtronic can do with it? Oh, it's nothing. It's at its, it's, at its form, formative stages. It's just starting. And what Medtronic can do is take a product like that and a company like that and scale it at a speed that that company alone cannot even reach. And by the way, it's more restricted in procedures to spinal procedures, but spinal procedures are one of the biggest healthcare challenges. And in planning, those procedures, in the implementation of those procedures, and the guidance of, uh, of the implants, this is an invaluable product, and that's what we will drive. Uh, what we can do, with, which other companies may or may not be able to do, is not only take the robot, but add in other associated technologies integrated with the robot. In addition to that, add in the spinal implant itself, which we manufacture. That combination of product is absolutely unique to Medtronic and one that I guarantee you will make a difference in this market and we will drive it. Okay, so let's understand each other. This is the JP Morgan conference. Most people talked about raising numbers or saying good things. I go through the narrative that you outlined. Somehow Medtronic got pegged to the idea that maybe the growth rate is shading down. I'm looking at page 10 of your deck. Sir, I have to tell you, you devoted two inches to Mazor. Two yeah. inches. Was it really the people's fault? Or was it your fault that the story got trapped into tax rate and a, a niggling part of cardiovascular? Because this was the story. I don't know whether I should blame Medtronic or the sellers for why people didn't like this. Well, whatever happened, happened. The more important point there is the reason that was so small is not because of tax and everything else. The reason it was so small is because there's so many other things. If you look at that page alone, there's neuromodulation, there's deep brain stimulation, where in a year from now we'll be launching a product which actually senses brain activity in addition to stimulate for Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders. That has never been done before. That's a game changer. But That's got to get on the page no, too. I, I know this. I know this. Yeah. So in other words, you're talking about implanting something, a chip that would make it, because I know that the UCSF, they're doing this. Yes. It's very experimental. You're telling me this won't be experimental. This will be something that people... This will be a product that we will release about a year from now. And this is the first time a stimulator will have associated with it a sensor. And a sensor which tells you in an accurate and quantitative way what the brain is actually doing so that the stimulator then can be adjusted accordingly. But this that is something is a game that I have heard over and over again is experimental and will not be able to be blown out. You're telling me that within a year, not in our lifetime, we in will have year. this? Yes. Tell people what that would mean for people with Parkinson's because I've seen the prototype of what it can do. 
Oh, it's amazing. I mean, this is like uh, night and day. Right. People who really suffer from that condition get immediately cured. Today, a product like that... Immediately cured. Imme immediately uh, cured from Millions. That, millions of people. So I think this is a big step. And again, it's a year from now. But that's a, one more example. There's many more examples. Well, if it's a year from now, then why are we using this, this, this uh, talking about five and a half versus four? I mean, why did, we get, why did you get trapped into a narrative about tax rate and a small part of cardiovascular? Well, I mean, that's up to others to kind of uh, take from uh, what we said. The majority of our dialogue, in my own presentation, it was about technology, about our pipeline. That is something that we uh, have built this company around, something that we're dedicated to, we're broader than anybody else, and one that we will ensure that this company leads in that area. So what do you say to the people that say that it's been spotty, that your record's been spotty, and the stock's at 82 because of execution issues? Well, nothing's happened yet, okay? A quarter's coming up. We said we would deliver the quarter according to the guidance that we've given. And by the way, in a two-year stack basis, our, our, we've grown at you know, 5%. And so this is something that we will do. And uh, to the degree that we have uh, pressure, we will work to offset that. And that's what I'm determined to do. And we will do everything we can to ensure that the company delivers on its commitments, not only technologically, but also financially. I'm so glad you said that because you know I think that your stock is just way too cheap. It's kind of crazy, frankly. 82 bucks, buy, buy, buy. 